Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and happy new year. Oh my God, you guys have no idea how much I have missed you and how much I have missed putting out content. It is like it's such a breath of fresh air and I thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all the love and all the support and all the comments that you guys left me and I am definitely, definitely back to work and I can't wait to share all the wonderful projects that I have in store for you guys. As you can probably see, I did a little bit of rebranding. I changed the channel name a little bit and that is as a result of um, a little bit of expansion that I was doing with my brand. That's why I had to take some time away. So I've, I've been gone for about three weeks and that's just because I wanted to make sure that in 2021, I was bringing you guys like my best. I wanted to be on top of my game for you guys. So I would also like to get your input on what you what it is you would like to see from this channel. If you have any ideas, anything at all that you think like I would be able to help you with. I want us to grow together. I want us to thrive together. I want us to create together. I want us to just, you know, be together in the togetherness of it all and i want us to have a great year ahead i pray that for you i pray that for your family that you receive peace and abundance and life i pray that this year will bring you more than you could work for more than you deserve more than you think you deserve lots of joy and love and light you know that's what that's that is my prayer that is my prayer for each and every one of you but this is after all a DIY channel and in today's video I'm going to be doing a twisted sweater DIY. I'm going to be transforming two sweaters in my closet into a front twist sweater and a back twist sweater. This is a very like trendy sweater type so if you have any sweater that is lying around the house that is a little basic this is one way in which you can upcycle it or turn it into something else instead of giving it away or going to buy another sweater just turn a basic sweater into a twisted sweater so that's what i'm going to be showing you guys today i'm going to be working on two sweaters like i said one twisted in the front and one twisted at the back and let's get straight into it i'm very excited to show you guys this video but don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more of my content all right let's get straight into it so you want to start by laying your sweater the first sweater which is the one with the twisted back. So lay it down with the back facing you. And the next thing you're going to do is to locate the center of the sweater and just cut it into two. What I first did was I marked about two inches below my underarm, but then later, I don't know if you, you, you notice that I changed my mind. I decided to mark it a little lower. But what you should do first is like decide where you want your twist to be. This is after locating, after cutting the sweater into two, like all vertically. Decide where you want your twist to be. So from that midpoint, cut a dip V to the shoulders and cut a curve from the midpoint to the hem. So you just want it to form like a, a curve on both sides. Next, on one side, cut across from the midpoint to about one to two inches from the side seam, from one of the side seams. And on the other side, what you want to do is create a one inch or 1.5 inch hole. So on one end, so on one side, you should have the hole and on the other side, you should have like two flaps. Also keep in mind that we're working with knit fabric. So to prevent the edges from fraying, Serge the raw edges and hand stitch the hole around. If you don't have a serger yet, I don't have a serger myself, so I just did like a rug, like I just hemmed mine. And I'll advise that you do this before doing anything else, before even moving forward with the project to make your work easier and neater. Because you don't want to wear your sweater and then like run into a nail and just have the whole thing unravel. Also, when you're sewing, try not to stretch the seam as you sew. And now it's time to twist. So what you want to do is take one of the flaps through the hole in front to meet the other one at the back. 
then put those flaps together now that like they so they they've, they are both like meeting each other on the other side of the hole put them together right sides facing each other and then just pin and sew them together So once you've done that, what you want to do is adjust and pin the twist till it looks really neat. Then using a needle and thread, just lip stitch everything into place to clean it up. Make sure you're using the matching thread because if you're working in a colored sweater like mine is red, don't use a black thread, that would just show. So just, you know, try to make everything as neat as possible. And that's pretty much it, you guys. You can choose to wear your sweater as it is. I decided to add pearls to mine just because like I just I have a lot of pearls and I don't want to carry them into next year so I've just been adding them to a bunch of projects yeah that is it for the first sweater so for the second sweater i'm going to be working on the front side but using the same method like it's literally the same logic that we used on sweater one except this time i want the twists to be on the side and not like right in the middle if that makes sense you like you see it in a minute i also don't want the twist to be like extended from the top of the sweater i want like the top to look normal so and the reason why i chose to do this is because i wanted to show you guys two different ways in which you can achieve the twist sweater look so you don't always have to cut it all the way from the top to the bottom you can just do it on the side So like sweater one, make sure that you serge, sew and hand stitch all raw edges and around the hole to prevent fraying like I said for the first one. So once you've marked where you want it to be and you've cut out all the necessary parts, just begin to twist. So take one of the flaps through the hole to meet the other one. And then like you did with the first one, put the flaps together, right sides facing each other, then just go ahead and pin and sew. Then flip the sweater to the back to pin and sew the bottom and the top spaces together. So as you're working, make sure that you are arranging the twist area to make sure and so that your edges would be lined up right. Make sure that you're sewing it right so that the top matches the top and the bottom matches the bottom. Then flip it back onto the right side of the sweater and then adjust the twist till it looks neat enough then just lip stitch the openings to clean things up and that's basically it all that's left are the embellishments so for this sweater i actually use regular pearls not the flat ones that i used for the first one and if you want a more detailed tutorial on how to sew on pearls or buttons you can check out my video on my pearl denim skirt that I did about a year ago. I'll leave a link to it in this video and in the description box. So check that out as well. And that is it, you guys. This is how the sweaters turned out, the black and the red one. I was very, very satisfied with the results. And I've actually had this on for a year because this is an old tutorial. I think I recorded this a couple of months ago, but 
If you like this video, let me know what you think in the comment section. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And follow me on Instagram or like Pinterest at love underscore ego. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.